hello everyone today i want to show you how to simplify this algebraic expression uh, into the lowest form so uh, you see here if we have 50 to the power of 6 minus 50 to the power of 4 so we write this algebraic expression into the lowest form but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem uh, so it means that we will show all of the working on this paper so i hope so uh, you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section uh, now here first we need to focus in the exponents of both of these terms uh, so first we break the exponent of this term then it will be written as 50 to the power of 6 and we write this 6 as 2 multiplied by 3 minus in the same pattern we write the exponent of uh, this 4 as 2 multiplied by 2 and now here in the next step we apply here the exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n we write it as a to the power of m to the power of n so according to this exponent law uh, here we move uh, the uh, here we move this 3 inside the term uh, so it will be written as 50 cubed and its whole square minus similarly here we move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 50 uh, square and its whole square and now uh, after that we use here uh, algebraic formula uh, you know that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this uh, algebraic formula uh, we uh, can simplify it over uh, this algebraic expression and so you see here the base of this term is over a and the base of this term is over b uh, so that uh, when you can apply here this formula so uh, after applying this formula we can write our algebraic expression as uh, first you have 50 cubed and minus uh, here you have 50 square and we have this is 50 cubed and plus 50 square and now in the next step uh, our next claim is to find the 50 cubed and 50 square so that first we find the uh, square of 50 so 50 square means that we multiply 50 with 50 because you see that calculator is not allowed in this problem so we show all of the working here and now we multiply these two bigger numbers so uh, here first we first we consider this is one digit number and this is our two digit number and when we multiply zero with this number you get zero and when we multiply 5 with this number you see here 5 0 is a 0 and 5 5 is a 25 it means means that 50 square is equals to 2500 uh, and now we find the value of 50 cubed and 50 cubed means that we multiply 50 square with 50 and the value of 50 square is uh, uh, 2500 and we multiply it with this 50 so now again we consider this is one digit number and this is our two digit number so when you multiply zero with this number you get here zero and when we multiply five with this number you get here five zeros are zero five zeros are zero and five five is a 25 we write five and carry two five two is a 10 10 plus two becomes here 12. it means that 50 cubed is equals to uh, one lakh and twenty five thousand so we uh, put these two values uh, in this expression so that our above expression is implies that here uh, so now first we can put the value of 50 cube it is equals to 1 2 5 and triple 0 and minus 50 square 50 square equals to 2 5 and double 0 and the second factor is again 50 cube plus 50 square so 50 cube equals to uh, 1 2 5 and triple 0 plus 50 square is equals to 2 5 and double 0 so now here our next claim is to uh, subtract these two values and add these two values and at the last we multiply our resulting answers uh, so first you subtract these two values and you see here 0 minus 0 uh, is equals to 0 again this 0 minus 0 becomes 0 and 0 minus 5 
uh, is not subtracted here so that we will take common uh, one from here it will becomes 4 and this will becomes 10 and now we subtract this is 10 minus 5 becomes here 5 and this 4 minus 2 becomes 2 and here we get uh, the value is 2 and 1 and now we add these two values and when you add these two values it will be written as 0 plus 0 equals to 0 again this 0 plus 0 becomes 0 and this 0 plus 5 equals to 5 this 5 plus 2 is 7 and at the last we get here this is 1 and 2 so now you see here these are the bigger numbers and now in the next step we need to multiply these two bigger numbers uh, so here we will multiply these bigger numbers into a very smart way uh, so i hope so you like this method so now we can break uh, here we consider this is our one digit number and we break this value and it will be written as one double two five double zero into we write this number as one and uh, five zeros and plus we have this is uh, two and four zeros and we have seven and three zeros and at the last we have a five and double zero so we break over this number into uh, these parts and now here in the next step we multiply uh, this number with each of these values and you see here when we multiply this number with this value we will just add all these zeros here and it will be written as one double two five double zero and we place these five zeros here and it will be written as zero 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 and zero so uh, this will becomes these two and these five total seven zero so you see here these are two six uh, two four six and seven and now here when we multiply this number with this uh, so that uh, uh, first uh, we need to uh, place all these zeros here so these are four zeros we will write four zeros here and now we multiply this two with this number you see here 2 times of 0 becomes 0, 2 times of 0 becomes 0 and 2 5 is a 10, we write 0 and uh, carry 1 and 2 2 is a 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, again 2 2 is a 4 and 2 1 is a 2. And now in the next step we multiply again this number with this 7000. So again we, we place these three zeros here, so these are the three zeros and we multiply seven with this number, you see here seven zeros are zero, again seven zeros are zero, seven fives are thirty-five, we write five and carry three, seven twos are fourteen, fourteen plus three is seventeen, we write seven and carry one, seven twos are fourteen, fourteen plus one is fifteen, we write five and carry one. 7 1 is a 7, 7 plus 1 becomes here 8. And now here in the final step we multiply this number with this 500 and now we can first write these two zeros here and we multiply 5 with this number so again 5 zeros is a 0 and 5 zeros is a 0 and 5 5 is a 25. We write 5 and carry 2 and 5 2 is a 10, 10 plus 2 becomes 12, we write 2 and carry 1. Again 5 2 is a 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, we write 1 and carry 1, 5 1 is a 1, uh, 5 1 is a 5, 5 plus 1 becomes 6. So uh, in the final step we need to sum up all of these values and you see here. Uh, so uh, we have these are the two four uh, these are the four zeros here four zeros here and four zeros here and these four zeros here so when you add uh, add the last four zeros so uh, it will be written as four zeros and uh, after that we have uh, we add each of these values so we add zero plus zero plus zero and plus five equals to five and this 0 plus 0 plus 5 equals 5, 5 plus 2 is 7 and this 0 plus 0 plus 7 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8 and this 5 plus 5 becomes 10, 10 plus 5 becomes 15, 15 plus 6 becomes 21, we write 1 and carry 2 and we have this is 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 8 becomes 14, 14 plus 2 becomes 16, we write 6 and carry 1. So we have this is 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5 
and at the last we get here only one so uh, finally we have uh, this is the our final simplified form of the given expression and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos